All right, thanks so much, Heidi. Joining us this week for Terry Tells You, we've got Chelsea Anders, who is the owner of the Lubbock Moms blog, and we also have Neely Yates Rowley, who is a founding contributor of this blog. Tell me, why did you decide, Chelsea, to put this together? So, um, living away from Lubbock, um, I had my first two children, and I felt that motherhood was rather isolating without mm -hmm. um, my, my, my family around. Um, I started following a couple of the other affiliate sites in Richmond, Virginia, and also Washington, D.C., okay. and it was a really great resource for me. So when nice. we moved back to Lubbock last year, um, I decided that um, wouldn't it be great to bring that resource here to town. Um, I feel like it's just a really good way to bring not just moms, but parents in general right. together. Um, we plan to be uh, a parenting resource that everyone can partake and also um, just find a lot of community in. Oh, that's very nice. And Neely, you're, I mean, you've kind of mm -hmm. put this on Facebook, you know, you're a contributing, yes. you know, writer and, and blogger on uh -huh. this. What are some of the topics that people can expect to be seeing from you as a mom? You know, there's gonna be some stuff of just like the every day of what I go through um, as a mom uh, with my three little ones, but, you know, uh, some of the deeper stuff too. Um, you know, I even, I recently wrote something about, you know, infertility and what I went through just to become a mom. Right. And I know I'm hoping that that will, you know, maybe help someone else out there that For has sure. gone through the same thing. Um, and then there's a lot of lighthearted stuff too. Just, <laughs> you know, um, just fun and just, like Talking I said. About how mom is, being how a mom is not easy. It's no. not <laughs> easy. And I want every, you know, other mom out there to know you are not alone. <laughs> right. You're, you're not the only one that no. feels this way. Exactly. Is there a particular age of like children that you kind of focus on or is this? So there's not really. So okay. we do have, um, we have a team of 24 writers okay. and they are in all stages of motherhood. So Good. we have several that have brand new babies and they're okay. doing this for the first time. But we also have moms that are transitioning to um, having college age kids, the empty empty nesting, okay. um, those kind of things. So we're a little bit all over the map, That's and good. we're we're looking to be to you know to build um, a really good team of moms that can give you advice in every stage, no matter what's happening, boys, girls, adopted children. Mm -hmm. Um, any any age, any scenario, any type of family. I love this concept. It's so great for, like you said, all parents. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't just have to be mom or dad. It can be a grandparent looking at it. You know, yep, absolutely. Anybody, really. Um, now, how did you choose your, your founding contributors to this? So we actually put out um, what we call an all call. So it was an application process that I then, um, since I'm the sole owner, I reviewed. Um, they, if they had them, they gave writing samples. Okay. Um, we asked some, some, some questions about why they would want to do a project like this. And it was um, each, each person that applied that was then um, brought onto the team, they had stellar answers and it was easy to um, read and see in their applications how well they would communicate um, wow. their passion for being a mom and for creating community. Very nice. Now let's pull up that full screen there so you can find them everywhere. The Love It Moms blog, you can find them, their website right there at the top. You can also find them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. They're all over the place. <laughs> you can't are. miss them. And you know, new things every time. I even found something. If you're looking for things to do for spring break, mm -hmm. 